I'm gonna let them know what's in it. Oh, we gotta clean this mirror. For sure, ski. We gotta clean the mirror for a show, ski. Some slight. YouTube, what's it doing, man? We back with another video, you already know what it is. Going into the week, you already know I gotta come to the store, get my essentials, make sure I'm right, making sure that we're limiting, eliminating, no, limiting our food that we consume on the outside on a daily basis. Yes, I like convenience. So yes, I do go to Chipotle and I do go to in and I do, do I do go to the nutrition shops and stuff like that. But when it comes to dinner and trying to be prepped in late night meals, you should definitely be eating at home. Or you should be eating at home as much as possible, in my opinion. So are there some things that you can eat out and still get away? Of course, I do it every day. Don't get me wrong. But try to eat at home as much as possible. Try to eat whole quality proteins, whole quality foods, and that will take you to the promised land. Okay? Now, like I said, we're at Vons. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting for the week. And I'm gonna show you some options that you can go ahead and grab as well, or some options that fit your needs or whatever the case is. So stay with me and let's see what we find in the store. Yeah, they do have a lot of kombucha here. We Look, might as well get a good one, right? Mango lemonade, yeah, that does kind of look fire. I've seen that. That's been there for a while. That's like one of the first ones. I'm trying this one. Huh? I'm trying this one. That one seems good. Nice. But should we, we just should get, get a big, a big one? one? Yeah, that's three. Yeah, huh? That's three of those ones. Yeah, so let's just get a big one. How much this are one. these? So these are what? Three nine nine four bucks. This one's good too. Yeah, let's just get a let's just the get apple. a big one. Get a big kombucha. You gotta be careful with these two. Look at the back definitely want to weigh this out you can definitely over over drink this but per container is only 210 calories mm -hmm. so how many servings are there four servings that's it no but this is three of those because gotcha. look at this this is 16 fluid ounces and this is for one serving size one bottle and it's 70 calories but this one's saying four and it's 50 calories but that's like a little less of a serving Gotcha. 12 fluid ounces, about 16. Yeah. So if you drink 16, there's three. Gotcha. So it's, it's the same thing. Yeah. So let's definitely go ahead and grab some of those, or one of those, and let's see what else we find. Get you some probiotics. It's good for the gut health. Do your research on it. I used to drink those every day. Don't drink too much, but drink at least a serving, and make sure you measure it out unless you're... Like just don't give a fuck. Something like that with water. Yeah, but uh, that's another video I got to do is apple cider vinegar. I got some hitters coming for you. So, all the facts. Um, so this is kind of like, you know, produce area. We don't really grab too much stuff here. Um, do we need any potatoes for the week? Are we good off potatoes? No, I'm good off that. Lettuce and salad this week. All right, so let's do some. We do the Caesar Romaine. Boom. We got the Bolt House Caesar at the house. Uh, I don't know. But, huh? Yes. So we got the Bolt House Caesar. This is the dressing we use right here. 50 calories, but still, with the dressing, you really got to be careful. You really, really got to be careful. Because a serving of this, <coughs> it's, it's definitely better than your other, you know, regular Caesar sauce. I can't get this thing to fucking focus. But still, two tablespoons, 50 calories. Definitely going to use about four tablespoons at least. But that's still, you know, that's still not bad. That's, like I said, it's still not that bad. Way better than regular see what else they got we don't really need anything else we're not doing the carbs this week right like that if anything we'll have a little bit of rice said protein yeah so usually like i said last time we usually get our protein for here sometimes but spices yeah Let's see what they got 
these burgers right here, $7.99. It's not bad. Last time I came, the protein was not looking too, too well. Some steaks. They look decent. You said what? This looks decent. The ground beef. We'll get at Trader Joe's. You want to get it here? Chucks don't look bad at all. It's almost three pounds. Three pounds of chuck. What do you want to eat this week? Steak, chicken, a lot of steak, ground beef. Got you. So, um, I don't know. Maybe we should get the protein at uh, Trader Joe's. As far as like, yeah, we must we'll get that. Because this right here is going to be a lot of the heavier cuts of steak. Like this, I would say this. Only thing that looks kind of good. Everything else you see is like. Yeah, or super. Yeah, we might have to go there to get some protein this week. But if you do come to the store, definitely take a look at the protein options. Whatever store you go to, definitely want to make sure you're grabbing some cuts. And depending if you're on keto or carnivore or you're just eating a regular base diet, you definitely want to choose in between what meats you want to get on the fattier ends. So we can get chicken from here or we can go to the, the butcher tomorrow. But everything's kind of looking, looking fucked up. I don't know what's going on. So not looking good. But yes, get you some chicken breast. You want to grab anything? It's not looking the goodness right now. Huh? So what? Which one did you point out? This one. Or no, this one. Steak. The chuck. Because it's three pounds. tenders. These look better. Or no, not really, huh? Which ones? Or these. Or we could just get some other parts. Alright, yeah, so for the protein, we're definitely going to hold off and go to El Super, or we're going to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow to see what we can find. Yeah. Very disappointing, man, because I've been coming here for a while. See, like, where are these cuts at? This is the best looking cut right here. Right? Alright, let's go down this aisle. You want to go this way first? I'm sure there's some type of protein jello. Can't find it, but I'm sure they made one already. What? What? Chobani? I don't know. I'm not a big, uh, I'm a Starbucks guy. In the morning, I'm going to Starbucks. That's what I do. I should probably stop, but that's what I do. Yeah. What? I get that four shots of espresso. Splash of sweet, uh, sweet cream in your Starbucks. That shit will wake you up, and you will have that. That's the best drink at Starbucks. Mark my mouth. Four shots of espresso, sweet cream, venti cup over ice. Banger, 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 banger. Drop it down below. 
for you. Bless you. Okay, so we don't really drink milk like that too much. And if we do, we buy our milk from Trader Joe's. I used to drink Ripple a lot. Based off, um, I remember when it came out, it had a good amount of protein. Now they got one for kids too, so definitely. Huh? But it has prebiotics, you know, omega threes. Yeah. It's not bad. All right, let's see what else we got. Is that bread at home still good? That keto bread? Look. Let me show you something, bro. Let me just show you something. What protein shakes? Oh, no. All right, let me show you something. Let me show you something. What do you think people drink? Like, what's the most popular drink here? Um, Minimaid? Like, something like right in your eye, I would say. Like, Minimaid, Berry Punch. Huh? Yeah. Like, right? One of these. Yeah. Okay. One of these. Can you click the screen? Click it. One of these right here 80 calories per serving, 22 grams of carbs, 22 grams of sugar. That's just unacceptable. That is just unacceptable. So do this instead. Yes, but look, check this out. Same drink. Look, same drink. Minute made fruit punch. Five calories. Click the screen, please. Five calories and no carbs. Great alternative right there. Bang, bang, bang. It's right next to each other. Sugar, calories, zero, five calories, zero sugar. Just way better. What did you say? The Kearns? This shit is terrible for you. This is, nah, you don't even want to fuck with this right here. This right here is terrible. I don't even want it to focus in on the thing. Just don't drink it. Just don't fucking drink it. 110, that's fucking terrible. People be drinking it like it's lemonade, like, ooh, it's good. Look at that sugar, 27 grams of sugar, 29 grams of carbs. Or you can go, don't they have a zero? You can go light. Bang, 25 calories, seven grams of carbs. I'm sure there's a zero sugar. Boom, zero sugar. Ooh, five calories. Hey, I do this for y'all, so you guys better appreciate the fucking video and like the like the video okay drop a comment and let me know you like the video okay i do this for y'all okay hope you understand it we'll get at yeah butter will get at trade joe's i've already dropped some gems on the butter stick over here this is your section here check the ingredient ingredients from here to here leave all that shit over there alone so for those that like to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches which you shouldn't be having too much peanut butter if you're trying to diet down but if you make turkey sandwiches you want to meal prep you want to take something for the kids you want them not to have too much carbs you want to meal prep something for your boyfriend your girlfriend your husband your wife you get anything you want you know what i'm saying you're going to want to go ahead and get you these two options right here especially when you're dieting it's going to be important i'm telling you i'm telling you you're going to want to get the keto options Keto options. I'm going to say it again. Keto options. It will be better for you. You're going to have less carbs. You're going to have fiber. And you're going to have less calories. Now, let me show you an option. Sorry, I'm rambling, but there's somebody right here checking it out. So, look. Two options right here. Bang. Keto. Bang. Nature's own. Keto. What's the first thing you see? What's that? What's that? 10 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fiber, 1 gram net carb per serving. Per serving? Talk to me nice. 35 calories per slice. Talk to me nice. Like, literally. Literally. Same thing here. 50 calories per slice. Boom. Two grams of net carbs. Not bad at all. Now, 
if you look at this other stuff, for instance, 100 calories, 19 grams of carbs. I need this thing to focus in right now. Boom. Total carbs, 19. Only 2 grams of fiber. Let's, let's do the math. Let, let's come on. It tastes damn near the same. It's got fiber, less calories, less carbs, better options, more food. Do the math. You know what? I, I'm going to have to work on my settings or I'm going to have to go get a different camera. You guys let me know if I need to get a different camera. I think it looks good too. Yeah. So I think the whole point of this video is to find alternatives. Yeah, it's easy. Find alternatives. Yeah, man. Seriously. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's just science, man. It just makes sense. So this is pretty much all we found right here so far. Big majority of what we buy is protein. We don't really buy too much extra stuff. Oh, this is another thing we gotta get. Here's another thing when it comes to dieting. And I told you guys this. It is okay to find alternatives that, what do you call it when you satisfy your cravings? Yeah, that's what it is. You're gonna have cravings. You're already not eating a lot of shit you don't want to eat. Unless you stuck to like a bear, you're still gonna have cravings for soup. Yeah, like don't make it crazy. So you already know I'm I'm messing with the Coke Zero, bro. Zero sugar, zero calories. I've done multiple research. The amount of sh this you'd have to drink to even consider any of the cancer talks or anything would be like 30 years beyond years of you drinking this shit straight at a crazy amount. You would need to drink like literally probably like 10 of the, no, like 15 to, no, like probably like 30 to 40 of these a day. Just so you know. So yeah, drink it. Don't be too specific. Zero calories, do the math, right? Zero calories, do the math. That's going to be the title of this, yeah, this video. The Zero calories, do the math. Do you want anything else? Let's get a Dr. Pepper Zero. For sure. <clears throat> nah, the spice is nasty. Zero caffeine. What would be the point of that? Mm-mm. what else we find it smells straight out of me but if you guys like pizza see, like we don't really eat pizza like that but if you do you gotta look for the quest pizza they literally had them here and they're gone but i've been to other vons and they do have it so i don't know if it's just this one but the point is it has like 46 grams of fiber for the serving and that's a lot it's a good amount and it pretty much, pretty much almost eliminates all the carbs in the pizza. So it's very, very good. Very good option as well. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. So, yeah. But it's looking a little dry in here. I'm not going to lie. Now, let's go to the real problem, I think, it to, for a lot of people in their diets. What do you think it is? The number one food. I wouldn't say the number one food, but what do you think people snack on the most or crave the most Chips. as far as a snack? Cheese? No, for sure not. Chips? No, for sure not. Chips? You don't know? It's this way. The number one thing people want to snack on is what? Ice cream. Ice cream is the number one thing people want to snack on. Me, 
I am a huge ice cream person, but I'm gonna show you a major alternative that I found that I eat. And this is the Carb Smart. They usually have a chocolate and some other uh, sea strawberry flavors right here, but 100 calories, as you can see, four grams of net carbs, which is not bad at all, very good. Four grams of fiber. So you got 100 calories, four grams of net carbs, four grams of fiber. Not bad at all for ice cream. I'll take it per serving. Versus what you would get on some of these other options here. These are probably like 100 and some calories per serving, 180 calories per serving. Very fucking addicting. Has tons of sugar in it and tons of carbs. Tons. Another option, as you guys might know already, is Halo Top. For me, that's not enough. I'm not worried about the protein aspect of it. I'm not eating ice cream for fucking protein. So, just so you're aware, okay? So, I think that's kinda, ooh, and my favorite. Not my favorite, but this is one of our snacks that we go to, and it's the protein yogurts. I say you guys can get some of these. We just discovered these. But we've been, uh, I think the Oikos are a little bit better as far as the, the texture and the consistency of it. But as you, if you can see how many options there are of just keto and protein and protein options. Yeah, they do. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, if you take a look around the stores nowadays, protein is a major, major concern. Right? Everything has protein in it. Or there's always a protein option now. Like, literally. And I wonder why. You know what I mean? So, just whatever kind of yogurt you like, try to find. I know Trader Joe's has really good Greek yogurts that are protein filled. And um, you should definitely take a look at that and check them out. Especially if you want a um, snack. So, besides that, I think that's all we need, huh? We need anything else? No, no, I'm good off the ice cream. I've had ice cream in probably a month. Yeah, but, oh, these are a very good snack as well. When I was dieting on carnivore, Yasso's kept me through it 100%. I'd eat a whole box and it was 400 calories. What? They have a strawberry one. Yeah. And the mango and the raspberry. I haven't seen those actually. Those are new. Huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. But these are not bad. Some of these are 80 calories. And then some of them are 100, so very good macro friendly and stuff like that. So, Coffee pops. yeah. So, besides that, I don't know. I guess we'll wait till, for tomorrow to get the protein stuff. Yeah. Look, carb smart. Boom. So, yeah. Besides that, man, that's kind of um, all we need. Do we need anything over here? Let me show you guys one more option. So, for those people that want cereal, there's options now. Protein options, look at this. 13 grams of protein, four grams of net carbs. You got options, options, protein options, fiber options. I'm telling you, pay attention now in the stores. Protein, protein options. Cereal. I'm telling you guys, pay attention. Down here, three wishes. Protein, protein granola. I'm telling you guys, pay attention to what I'm talking about. Okay. That would get you through it. For us, we don't really eat cereal. I don't really eat in the morning. Ari doesn't really eat in the morning. And that's just kind of what we do. Same thing with syrup. If you guys want pancakes, get sugar free syrup. It's not that difficult. Right? Look, the Pop Tarts. Oh, I don't even want to look at that. 370 calories for one is crazy. How much? 370 calories. Versus our 150 plus 20 grams of protein. Let's go over a quick recap, real quick in here. What did we get? We got lettuce. Some lettuce. We already have plenty of sauces that we use. I use the sriracha a lot. Yeah. There's that bolt house that I was talking about. 
coffee creamer. I'm gonna get coffee pods. No Starbucks this week. Mm, keto bread I was talking okay. about. Keto bread. keto bread I was talking about. Come on, man. I ain't capping here when I'm talking. I ain't capping when I'm... I ain't... Mm. All right, what else? Kabucha. Bang. Bang. Very light. That's all we got. Yeah, can you get the waters? Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's all we got. Maybe I'll do a part two tomorrow when we go to Trader Joe's. If not, man, that's the end of the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. We'll be back with more content. And that's kind of what we got. And I'll catch you on the next one. And just remember. Eat your protein. That, and what was my slogan? Zero calories, do the math. Zero calories, do the math. We're out. Catch you on the next one. All right, y'all, this is going to be a continuation video from last night's video. I had to come back and get some more protein here. See the petite sirloins right here. Bang. Not a bad price at all. Straight steaks. We got some salmon right here. We got turkey meat for my keto bread. Boom. One ham. And then right here we got some salmon. Skin off. 23. Not bad. But yeah, they got a lot more options today for us. So this is just a little continuation video. <coughs> showing you guys I'm not playing around. When I say this, get your protein in. And the yogurt that I showed you guys, good thing I'm back because look. It's 49 cents when you buy four or more. Literally. So it was first, it was 10 for 10. Now you get 20 for 10. So just look for stuff like this, man. Straight game changer. You see, I'm already stocked up. Game changer. Stop playing with me.